Within this lesson, we'll be continuing to transition to the standard algorithm for two-digit by two-digit multiplication. Here, when we had the problem 47 times 24, we could solve this problem with an area model with just two partial products, where we broke apart 24 into 4 and 20. Here, this would be 4 times 47. And here it would be 20 times 47 for our partial products. Showing that standard algorithm, we'd have 47 times 24. Where first, we would figure out that product. Hey, it's 4 times 47. 4 times 7, which is 28. 8, regroup at 2. And 4 times 4, which is 16, adding together that 2, you get 18. So that's 188. Next, as stated, it's 20 times 47. Yep, that 2 is worth 20. So we place a 0, since we're working with 20 or two tens, And we multiply. 2 times 7, which is 14. 4, regroup a 1. 2 times 4, which is 8, plus that 1, which equals 9. And then I can add those two partial products together. 2, regroup a 1, and then that's 11. 1,128 is our product, or that answer to a multiplication problem. Here's another problem. What's going to go on this first line? What goes on that first line? Right, we're working with the 6, and we're multiplying that 6 with the 63. So that's 6 times 63. What goes on that second line? Right, that 5, which is worth 50, is 50 times 63. And then we put those together to be able to get that product of 56 times 63. Let's work that out. 6 times 3 is 18. 8, regroup a 1. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1 is 37. So that 6 63s is 378. Next, in working with that 5, which is worth 5 tens or 50, we place a 0 first then, and it's 5 times 3 is 15. 5, regroup a 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. So there are two partial products, and then we can go ahead and add them. We get the product 3,528. Okay, it's your turn. Can you please also show those partial products that you are figuring out? Pause the video while you do your work. First is 3 times that 74. Next, you have that 20 times the 74, and of course you add it. Did you figure out your partial products correctly? Did you remember to place the 0 because you are working with two tens? The product there is 1,702. 74 times 23 equals 1,702. Look over your work. Okay, it's your turn again. This first product is going to be what? 3 times 68. Pause the video while you continue your work. 3 times 8 to start with, that gives us 24, 4 regroup of 2. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Cross out the regroup. Working with this 5, which is 5 tens, that's why we place a 0. Then we continue with that multiplication. 5 times 8, which is 40, 0, regroup of 4. 
and 5 times 6, which is 30, plus 4, which equals 34. We carefully add those two together, and does that match the answer that you got? Where the product is 3,604. One more look with the standard algorithm alongside the area model. We have 78, and we're multiplying it by 56. So we break it apart into 6 as well as 50, where we work to figure out that first product of 6 times 78. That's why it goes on that first line. And then we work through that second product of 50 times 78 going on that next line. 6 times the 8 is 48. That's 8, regrouping the 4. 6 times 7 being 42, plus 4 being 46. So that 6 times that 78 does give us 468. That's what we did right here. Then we were looking at those 5 tens, and that's why we placed a 0. And then we can go through those multiplication steps. 5 times the 8, which is 40, 0, regroup the 4. 5 times the 7, which is 35, plus 4 is 39. So that that partial product of 50 times 78 is 3,900. And then we add those two together. And we get our answer. 4,368. So we do go through those steps where we're looking at 78 times that first digit, and then 78 times that next digit, which is in the tens place. And that's why we put that zero there. So that's the standard algorithm then for two-digit by two-digit multiplication.